I'm Dave Kessler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, and my YouTube channel is the Ask Dave channel for ham radio. We're answering questions in these shorts. This question came from uh, Julie D9M90 on do lightning rods make antennas impossible, number 557. No. I want lightning rods on my roof, the TV antenna, a weather station, and a ham radio antenna. In the event of a direct lightning strike, how do I protect the three ladder items from being destroyed? City Coast allows equipment to be 50 feet above the roof. First of all, let's talk a little bit about lightning. Standard book containing amateur best practices for grounding and lightning protection and so on is in the book Grounding and Bonding by Ward Silver. Okay, this is the second edition. I'll tell you this. When you get a direct strike from lightning, all bets are off. If you put in a good lightning protection system as designed by an electrician who really knows what they're doing and installed by that electrician, you're in pretty good shape as far as being inside the house. Now, if you've got a ham antenna up there, what you want to do is bring the cable down to a lightning arrestor mounted on the ground rod or near the ground rod in a, a lightning arrestor bulkhead. Now, remember, lightning is lazy. Lightning wants to find the easiest path to ground. Okay, so if there's a, a nice thick cable going like this and some thin stuff doing this kind of thing over here, you'll see most of it following that direct path. In fact, in this book, they suggest that when you connect ground wires, you come at an angle into the pipe so that lightning will tend to go that way. You do have a ground rod for your utility entrance panel. You should have a ground rod right outside your station. There's a little bit of question in my mind. We know that we bond the ground systems, but whether we actually connect the green wire ground to my station's grounding spot is something I don't understand fully. Still trying to digest a bunch of material I've gotten from a really good uh, grounding engineer. And so I'll come up with something more definitive on that later. But the two halves of your house can be at vastly different voltages. So if you've got green wire ground over here and you've got ham radio ground over here, they could be at very different voltages, which could cause extensive damage, fires, that sort of thing. So that's why we want to try and keep the utility green wire ground voltage here the same as our station ground. There you have it. You can put those things up, but for a TV antenna, you're going to want to do the same kind of thing. You can get lightning protectors for TV cable and stuff like that. A weather station, my weather station is up on the roof and it's not connected to anything. It's solar powered. And then there's a radio link down to my little weather station. That way there's no connection. Like I said, all bets are off when there's a direct strike, but nearby lightning strikes won't normally affect it because it does not present a path to ground. So there you have it. Until we next meet, 73.